Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about how to backup our on-prem VMs as well as uh, Azure VMs using Azure Backup Service and we will also see a small demo on how to backup our on-prem VM. So I have made a small diagram here to illustrate the Azure Backup. For Azure Backup to work, first of all we would need a recovery service vault which is a storage location to save our backups and by default the recovery service vault saves our backup at three different geolocations. We have an option wherein we can change it to locally redundant storage as well. One of the ways to backup the VMs and our on-premise workload is using Mars Agent. In this case Mars Agent needs to be installed on our on-prem VM and Azure VMs. Mars Agent provides us the capability to backup our files folders and system state data only so once we will install the mars agent we will configure it on the vms and it will back up either files folders system state data or all three of them so once we install mars agent we will define it in the setting in the backup schedule what it needs to back up another option to back up the vms is using backup server so in this case we will install a backup server in our on-prem and we will install mars agent this time on the backup server and uh, on our on-prem VM, we will install a MABS agent or DPM agent. In this case, our VM will send the backup to backup server and the backup server will save it in recovery service wall. Similarly, for our Azure VMs also, we will have a server in Azure which will act as our backup server. We will install a Mars agent on it. Our Azure VM will have MABS or DPM agent and will send the data to our backup server and it will save it to recovery service vault. The advantage of having backup server and installing MABS and DPM over Mars agent is that not only it can do backup of files, folders and system state, it can backup entire products like SharePoint or SQL server. So we have a choice here, either we install MABS agent or DPM agent, but there is a difference between two. Like for example, for MABS agent, we do not need any license, but for DPM agent, we need system center license. Both MABS and DPM agent provide long-term storage. The MABS agent provides long-term backup on Azure, but DPM also allows us to have long-term storage on tape. So if we want to backup on tape, then we would require DPM. Another advantage of DPM is that uh, we can set it up in a primary and secondary DPM server configuration. So in case our primary server goes down, the secondary server can continue to protect our workload which were protected by primary server but MABS do not provide this functionality. The third kind of backup we can have is only for Azure VMs uh, that is using the inbuilt backup agent extension. This only provides a full VM backup capability. In this case we do not need any Mars agent or MABS agent. It's just an extension which is installed on the Azure VM. It has some limitations like it can only backup once in a day. So these were the three ways we can backup our on-prem VMs and Azure VMs. The first way is to install the Mars agent directly on our on-prem and Azure VM and they will save the backup in recovery service vault. The second option is to install MABS or DPM agent on our on-prem and Azure VM and they will talk to another server which we need to set up in on-prem or Azure which will be our backup server and will have Mars agent on it. So all our on-prem machines will talk to the backup server and it will save the backup in RSV. And similarly, all our Azure VMs set up with MABS or DPM agent will talk to the Azure backup server set up in Azure with the Mars agent and it will save the backup in recovery service vault. Another way to backup our VMs is to use our third-party agents like uh, Commvault. In that case, you will install the Commvault agent on the machines and set up the backup. But they will not use recovery service vault. Instead of that, we need to use uh, blob storage. And we can save our backup in blob storage. Now we will see a demo of how to backup our on-premise VMs using Mars agent. For that, first of all, I will have to create a recovery service vault. So I will create a resource group. I will create resource group in Australia Southeast and then I will create a recovery service vault in Australia Southeast and place in this resource group.
we will click on create so the resource has been created now so now we will open this in our on-prem VM from where we want to take backup so let me go ahead and open my on-prem VM this is my on-prem VM of which I want to take backup I have opened Azure portal on that so I will go in the resource group and backup and recovery service vault so I have opened the resource group and under that I will go to the vault one which I just created and now I will go to backup it shows us various options here so as I told you earlier that uh, using Mars agent we can only back up files and folders and system state but if I select Microsoft SQL Server and click on prepare infrastructure it is giving me the option to install Azure backup server it is not giving us the option to install Mars agent because SQL Server requires backup server and MBS agent on our VM for backing up SQL but in this case we will only select files and folder and system state so it should show us the option to install Mars agent and we will click on prepare infrastructure so it is giving us the option to install Mars agent which is recovery service agent and I'm going to download and install it on this VM So I will go through the wizard options, pretty basic, I do not need proxy. Now the installation is complete and we will click on proceed to registration. It is asking us for a vault credential file so we will have to download it from the Azure portal so we'll go to the Azure portal from the place where we downloaded the agent and this time we will click on already downloaded or using the latest recovery agent we will click on download and download the file I have saved the vault credential file which I will specify in my wizard Now it is showing us our vault name and region we'll go and click on next now we will specify our passphrase to encrypt and decrypt the data so we will click on generate passphrase and it will automatically generate a passphrase for us and we will save it at some location on our PC normally it's not a good idea to save the passphrase on the same PC which we are backing up but this is our test environment so I will save it in C users administrator downloads folder now it is registering our server now it has uh, registered our server in Azure vault it is giving us a warning that we saved the passphrase on local machine that's fine in our case and now we will click on close and launch Azure recovery service agent from here we can set up our backup schedules and the files and the folders which we want to backup we can select them we will click on schedule backup so the backup wizard is now open we will click on next we will select the items which we want to backup For testing I will back up my desktop folder in which I have created a test folder and it has a file in it, a notepad file. It's asking us for the backup schedule so daily 3am is fine. 
another point to note here is that it only allows us to backup maximum three times a day so here we can define the retention policies it's asking us uh, how we want to start the backup for the first time we can do over the network which we will do in this case but if you have a lot of data you can use azure data box serv service in which azure will send you disks or a data box depending on what you select or you can also transfer using your own azure compatible disks now we will click on finish and it will finish setting up backup in few minutes I will click on close now the backup has been set and we will click on backup now to start the backup process and then after that it will backup every day at 3 a.m. it's asking us the date till which time we want to retain the backup so I will select 31st here So it's giving us uh, the desktop folder which we selected earlier and I will click on backup. Now it has started the backup process and it will take some time and I'm going to pause the video and come back once the backup is finished. Now the backup has been finished, we will click on close and it shows us the status also that the last backup was successful. Now we will go in Azure portal and see there. So here I am in my Azure portal, I will go in my Vault 1, I will go in Backup Items, it's showing me Azure Backup Agent and Backup Item Count 1. So this was a video in which we saw the difference between the backup options we get using Mars Agent and MABS Agent and also Azure VM default backups and saw a demo of how to backup our on-prem VM using Mars Agent. In the next video, we will see how to backup using MBBS agent and installing Azure Backup Server on-premise. I hope you find this video informative and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notifications. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.